Hey guys, it's Inka, and in this video, I will only be eating red colored foods for 24 hours. So we're getting to the end of the rainbow here. Red is a color that a lot of you have been requesting, so I figured now is the time to finally make it happen. As per usual, I will only be making and eating foods that are naturally colored red, and hopefully I will be able to create these red themed dishes that are both visually satisfying and also very appetizing. Because of safety reasons, I will be doing most of my shopping online, but I really wanted to stop by the grocery store just to see if there's anything cool. So let's go shopping really quickly. Good morning, everyone. It is a new day. I am in my red colored shirt. It is more of a maroon, kind of like the color of red wine. I am ready to start off my red color day. For some reason, it feels like I'm celebrating Valentine's, but here we go. I have some red dragon fruit. This is truly one of my favorite fruits. I think it's really popular for people to put it in their smoothie bowls now because of its vibrant color. I have this pear that is actually a beautiful red on the outside, some raspberries, some strawberries, some salami, a cranberry cheese, red pepper jelly. You can see that it's literally a bright red. It doesn't use any artificial coloring. I think the red mainly comes from the sweet red peppers. It's supposed to go well on cheese and meat, so I'm excited to test it out. I'm just gonna wash the fruit really quickly. It's already looking super red. I love it. Also going to slice up my dragon fruit. Look at this color, wow. This is also why some people use red dragon fruit as a natural dye because look at how pigmented it is. Same thing with my berries. Pear. Open this cheese. Okay, I definitely smell the cranberry. So I know this isn't completely red, but I think it qualifies to a certain extent. Whoa, this, it smells super pungent. Wow, it is spicy. It smells so spicy. I think I'm smelling like the vinegar. So there's like that huge like sour note. It is literally a bright red. Scoop it out like that. This is kind of the texture. I am now going to put this on top of my cheese and then I should be done. Breakfast is served. You can see the strawberries here, the red dragon fruit, the raspberry. On this side, you'll be able to see the pear at the bottom, the salami, the cheese, and then the red pepper jelly. It looks more like a charcuterie board, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Let's dig in. Let's try that. It's like a burst of berry flavor. If you've never tried red dragon fruit, I could not recommend it enough. It has more of like a neutral flavor, I feel, so it complements every other fruit that you have it with. I'm gonna go ahead and try my little creation here with the pear, salami, cranberry cheese, and jelly. I still smell the red pepper jelly, oh my God. It's actually pretty good. The jelly is not spicy. The cheese is super, super creamy. A little bit of savoriness from the salami. It had like that tartness from the pear. I'm gonna try the jelly by itself. Huh. It's a very, very faint spiciness at the back of your throat. I'm mainly getting like a sweet and sour flavor. I honestly just feel like I'm having a fancy cheese board in one bite. Everything kind of just works out. That was really enjoyable. So I'm gonna finish up what's left on my plate. There's really not much left. I might pop out a little bit later to get a bottle of red wine for lunch. See you guys then. Just got my bottle of wine, so I'm heading back home now to start working on lunch. I have my bottle of red wine right here. Red colored foods immediately made me think of tomato sauce, which is one of my go-to pasta sauces. So that's what I'll be making today. I tried to keep it simple this time, so there's only a few ingredients. Canned tomatoes here, I love the fire roasted ones. Tomato paste, this is the key ingredient to making it super red. Red onion, red bell pepper, apple for sweetness. This pasta that's made out of beets. Tuna. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to incorporate this into my meal yet. I'll find a way to put this in there. And of course, I also have my red wine. I feel like this meal should be pretty good. I am missing some of my usual ingredients like my herbs and garlic, but I think I should be able to make this work. I'm gonna start off by cooking this pasta, almost like a purplish red. Once it hit the water, it immediately became this like 
super pretty red. It looks like Twizzlers. I start cutting up my vegetables. I know some of you might be thinking that it's really weird to add apple into your sauces, but I do do it sometimes usually for stews and soups because I like the natural sweetness it adds. So I'm doing a little bit of experimenting today. I'm gonna go ahead and toss them in the pan and add the tomato paste. Tomato. This is beginning to look like a sauce already. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some paprika as well as some cayenne pepper. Now to add in my wine. I have some pasta water. It's super red as well, so I'm just gonna add that back in. It's looking good. Toss my pasta in here. As for what I'm smelling right now, I'm just getting a lot of red wine and tomato. I may have put more wine than I intended. And for my tuna, I'm just going to sear it as a hoe and then slice it up. Still perfectly red on the inside. I like that we can still see the red meat. For those of you who are concerned, I promise this piece of fish is safe to eat raw, so don't worry. The pasta is pretty much done. I'm just gonna make a drink really quick, just some watermelon juice. So I'm gonna blend up some fresh watermelon and then I'm ready to eat. This is my red lunch for the day. It is super red, which I'm really happy about. Tuna on the top, the little bit of radish. Pasta itself just looks so red that it's almost a little bit intimidating. Then I also have my watermelon juice. I am just going to go ahead and take a big bite of this. So good. I was a little skeptical because I'm usually somebody who's super heavy on the garlic, but there's still a lot of flavor. The red wine is a really great addition. It adds a lot of depth, really strong peppery smell. Peppery as in like red bell pepper. Look at this tuna. Isn't it so beautiful? I don't know if it pairs the best with pasta, but I enjoy tuna a lot just as it is. The watermelon juice is so refreshing. I am really enjoying this meal. Surprisingly, I didn't know red colored food would be the one that would give me this much enjoyment. Now I'm gonna turn off the cameras and finish the rest of my meal slowly. Check back in later. It's around 4 p.m. right now. I am just sitting on the couch to rest for a little bit, mostly to rest my eyes. But I figured now would be a good time to eat some snacks. I found this at H Mart yesterday. It is basically a savory snack that is similar to dopoki, which is just Korean rice cakes, but in chip form. The red pigment mainly comes from paprika and red chili paste. It looks so similar to a rice cake, but not like flaming hot Cheetos kind of bright red. It smells like a fry. Mm. It's like much more on the sweeter side than I was expecting, which is probably why I like it. Ooh, okay, there is a bit of a spice afterwards. It kind of hits you out of nowhere. I really miss being able to go around the office and make everybody else try this. Before I finish that whole bag, I also have this other treat. It says sweet rice cake on the package, also known as dongo. This one specifically is made with red bean. Ooh, ah, I should have saved this for dessert. This is what it looks like. The red bean's kind of squished. I'm a huge fan of that like QQ chewy texture. And the red bean is just right for this sweetness. These are some great snacks. And we'll save the rest for later. Definitely feeling more energized now that I have summer fuel in my system. I am now going to work a little bit more and then soon I'll get started on preparing dinner. And I don't wanna jinx it, but I feel like it's been a pretty good day so far. Dinner time is just around the corner, so I am back in the kitchen. Also, I was thinking for red colored foods, considering how many spicy things there are under this category, maybe I should try to make a very spicy dish. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for this meal. I have some beef over here, red potatoes, harissa, which is a Tunisian hot chili pepper paste. So it has a lot of flavor in it. It is this really vivid red. And since I'm stepping up the spice game, I have a bunch of Thai red chilies here. They may be the death of me. Gochujang, which is Korean hot pepper paste. And you can see the edges, how bright that is. I also found this red rice. I've heard of red rice, but I've never had the opportunity to taste it. So today is the day. I also have some gochugaru, which is just some Korean red pepper powder. And this thing is usually what gives that huge fiery kick. I'll be a little heavy handed on this today. I think the plan for dinner is essentially for me to make a very spicy meat and potato stew. Hopefully I don't cry when I'm eating this. I'm going to cook some rice natural looking brownish red. But I'm gonna go ahead and wash it, let it soak, and then cook it over the stove top. Boil my potatoes. I'm also just going to sear my beef. I am going to make my fiery red hot sauce. I love this sauce, but literally the moment you open it, you can smell the spice. 
If you're afraid of spice, this might terrify you. A big gop of that. Red pepper powder. Ooh, this smells so good. Mix it together. I'm having a lot of fun putting this together but I think I might pay for it later. This is like the sauce from the underworld. All of this color you're seeing right here, it is completely natural. I'm gonna give this sauce a try. It is very spicy. Like I can feel it in the back of my throat right now. Wow, am I gonna lose my voice because of this? <clears throat> I love spicy food though, so. I think this is gonna be fun. But now I'm gonna start frying up the onions first. A little bit of chili. Now I'm a little scared. Red potatoes have once again become more brown than red. I'm just going to cut them up, toss them in the pot. Beef is in as well now. It is now time to add in my fire sauce. Mixing that in. I feel like it's looking more orange than red though, so I'm gonna add in maybe a little more gochujang. I'm gonna let it chill. Got my rice going in the background. It's been around half an hour. It is slightly more orange than I like. And to be honest, I'm a little terrified because I kept on thinking it's not red enough, it's not red enough. So I kept on adding red pepper powder, red pepper sauce, chili flakes, so. I shall suffer the consequences. And then I have my red rice at the back here, which means that dinner is now pretty much done and I am ready to serve it all up. And this is what I have. I know it doesn't look as extravagant as my other meals. The sauce has really been cooked down, so then you can't even see the potatoes anymore. But with that being said, I do feel like the flavor in this one is going to be pretty intense. A little nervous, actually. I should probably get my drink ready. It is a kombucha that I made, pomegranate and strawberry in there. Maybe I'll start off with something sweet, refreshing, slightly fizzy. This rice definitely has more of like a wild rice texture. We're just gonna scoop a big bite here. Cheers, everybody. It's really spicy. It's really spicy. Oh my God, am I gonna cry? Oh my God. Like I feel like in the beginning when I first tasted this sauce, right? Because I went a little crazy trying to make the color right. Now it is, it is like fire. Is this how people feel on like hot ones? Well, you know what? I'm gonna try another bite. I will say that eating with the beef is pretty nice because the meat has so much surface area. I think the harissa, was a really nice way of like kind of binding everything together because it has so many spices built into it. The potato at this point too has already been cooked down so much that the sauce has become this like thicker consistency. But I feel like if you like spice, this really isn't a bad idea at all. You just might have to pay for it the next day, you know? <laughs> I am going to transition right into dessert because that's going to help me cool off this burning sensation on my tongue right now. I have some ice cream with me. This is just a strawberry guava sorbet. It's this like pinkish red color and it will save me from the pain I'm in right now. I'm gonna eat enough to cool it down. Maybe that was too big of a mouthful. I'm not having a brain freeze. It does help soothe the pain, but it is freezing the brain. I love this flavor though. It's super refreshing, it's fruity. Can't go wrong with sorbets. Today was quite the adventure. I feel like I had some pretty amazing meals and then I also had meals that were good but also tortured me a little bit. I think we pretty much only have two colors left now, orange and white. Correct me if I'm wrong, but let me know which one you guys wanna see next and I will see you guys then. Bye.